Right guys, welcome. In this video, I'm gonna be building some racking or cubby holes for screws and spray paints. I'm gonna be using some 18 mil and 12 mil ply, which I had left over from all the other things that I've done on the workshop makeover. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna have enough materials to actually finish the entire unit, but I'm making it in a way that I can add to it. So all the shelves are going to be attached with dados so I can just slide them in. So even if I don't finish it, I can still put it in place. And then later on, as and when I get materials, I can then make more shelves and finish it off. But first I'm going to see what I've actually got and how far I get with it. So one thing I want to do is add dust extraction to the mitre saw. And I'm going to be running a hose through the side of the dust hood and along the back of the mitre station. So what I'm effectively going to do is create a tunnel, which I'm going to sit along the back. It's going to have a gap this in so I can feed the hose from the dust hood down through the tunnel and out that end. And then obviously the racking is going to be fitted over that. You'll understand a bit better as the video progresses so i'm starting out by making the tunnel where the dust hose is going to run and i'm letting the size of the offcuts dictate the size of that and i think the inside measurements are about 100 mil in depth by just over 100 mil in height so this is just being joined together with screws and simple butt joints So with that complete, I can now start cutting what will be the uprights for the shelving unit. And if you're wondering why my table saw is moving, it's because Num Nuts forgot to lock the casters. Next thing I need to do is notch out the bottom of all the uprights to sit over what I'm calling the tunnel. So I'm cutting those out on the jigsaw. So once that's done, I can start screwing it together. And again, I'm not using any fancy joinery. It's just getting joined together with simple butt joints and screws. And I'm using my speed square to actually make sure that the panels are perfectly aligned as they should be before I drive in the screws. Right, I'm just going to give you a quick update where I'm going with this. So up the top, I'm going to put two cabinet doors. And then I'm going to have a load of sections where I'm going to make a load of like cubby holes. On this side, I'm going to have aerosols and things like that. This side's going to be screws. 
what I've got to do at the moment is I'm working out the space that I need in each section and then I can work out how big I need every cubby hole and I'm going to put a load of dados on all these pieces so I can slide the individual shelves in and I'm going to try and use up a load of like the little off cuts so even if I can't do it in one piece I'm not worried about that because this is a great way of using all your little scraps that would otherwise just clutter your workshop so that is where I'm at at the moment I will have to take all these pieces apart once I've worked out the sizes of the cubby holes and then I can cut the dados and go from there and this is what I'm actually doing away with I made this about two years ago out of some old kitchen cabinets and it's about time to get rid of that and update it a little bit so with the dado locations all marked out I can set the depth stop on the miter saw and start cutting all the dados So before I can attach what I'm calling the tunnel for the dust hose to the rest of the shelving unit I had to remove the front so I could actually drive the screws in and fix the two together. So I did have to be fairly careful when attaching the 12 mil upright supports because obviously there's a lot more room for error. So I took my time, made sure I drilled holes as close to the center as possible and it all worked out really well. So with all the uprights now attached at the bottom, I could fit the front of the tunnel back on and flip it over. And this is where all my little mistakes turned into much bigger mistakes.
Right, so by now you're probably wondering what's gone wrong. I'm going to bring you in a little bit closer, explain all the little mistakes I made and show you exactly why this hasn't gone to plan. So just to let you know, I'm not scrapping this idea because I still want to finish this build. But I'm going to show you where I went wrong and explain what I'm going to do to fix the mistakes that I've made. Right, so firstly, this isn't a mistake. You'll see there's a gap along the bottom. That's because I left all these pieces slightly longer and I was going to trim them all down so this sits flat. So that's not actually a mistake. I just thought I'd point that out. The first mistake I, I made was to attempt to cut dados on both sides of the 12 mil upright supports um i did think that was going to be a little bit of an issue but because i didn't have enough 18 mil that's why i tried the 12 mil so when i set the mitosaur up to do the dados i set it up on the 12 mil ply and because I could only cut fairly shallow dados. Although this has remained fairly rigid, the dados aren't quite deep enough to hold the shelf securely. So that was the first problem. Second problem, when I went to do the dados on the 18 mil pieces, I didn't swap the depth over I used it at the same depth that I'd done these dados with and that meant that the dados came out far deeper than I planned as it happens they're not it's not a problem on the 18 mil because one this is still nice and rigid and there's only dados on one side same with this piece they're fine and the shelves actually slide in and out nicely but on the middle one because it's both sides and I went deeper than I wanted to when I was putting the shelf in just as I fitted these at the bottom and top one of these slots was slightly too tight so I tried whacking it with a hammer and because there was no support this side this is actually delaminated which has completely buggered that one up. But that was probably my fault because I put the slots too close together. I should have kept them staggered like they are at the top. But live and learn. And then when I flipped this over, after I'd secured all these uprights at the bottom, the shelf that I actually had in place fell out. This tipped over and this is actually snapped but I must have altered the depth on the mitre saw when I was cutting the dados in this piece because it seems to have gone deeper than the two other 12 mil pieces so I'm going to swap all the middle bits out as and when I get some more 18 mil ply and then I'm going to make sure I set the depth correctly so the dados are deep enough but not as deep as they are on the outer panels. Now I did think I might get away with the thinner bits because I plan on putting some trim on the front anyway which would actually add some support to these thinner uprights but Obviously, it all went disastrously wrong before I even got that far. So I'm going to chalk this one up to experience. And as and when I get some more 18 mil ply, then I will have another go and hopefully get to finish it. Right, and if I'm totally honest, I wasn't actually going to upload this video, being that it's a complete fail. But then I thought, to hell with it, I'm going to upload it anyway. This is probably the first video on my channel 
that's resulted in a complete fail. Normally, if I've made a mistake, I've normally got enough material left over to actually rectify it and finish the project. But because I haven't actually got any more plywood, that's pretty much knackered me as far as finishing this off. So what can I say? So despite this video being a complete and utter fail, I hope you enjoyed the video anyway. Feel free to call me an idiot and tell me how stupid I am in the comments. I've been calling myself stupid, so I'm totally fine with that. I'm going to agree with you in advance. So as always, thanks for watching. If you're new to the channel and you like woodworking, DIY or tool reviews and complete fails, then subscribe, hit the bell icon and you'll be notified of all my future uploads. So until the next video, stay safe and you'll see me in the next one. Cheers for watching guys.